Good afternoon, this is Bob Itino coming to you from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago talking equities. NASDAQ specifically, NASDAQ led all three indices lower, actually four if you include the Russell. It was down more than the Russell on its lows as well. Finishing about 74.32 on the DEES contract, low of about 73.47, high of about 75.40, big range for the NASDAQ. It was down over 2% on its lows. Again, that was the largest loser of the day in the big four, but then coming back to settle down only about 1% on the day, not a bad recovery in toward the end of the day. Part of the reason for that sell-off was, again, the longer end of the yield curve in the bond quadrant. Those yields went higher again after non-farm payrolls. Non-farm payrolls had plenty in it to suggest that jobs are strong and we're also at reasonable full employment, which could spark inflation, which causes longer end rates to rise, more so than it causes the Fed to accelerate their lower end movements. Even, again, those longer rates move more. So what we saw was a quick drop in rates and then a rally, the 10-year note, going to about seven-year highs. Non-farm payrolls missed on the headline by about 55,000 jobs, but then the prior two months were revised by 87,000 jobs to the upside, making up for those losses. The unemployment rate fell to 3.7 percent 3.7%. That's the lowest number since 1969. And labor force participation was unchanged. So it was a decent jobs number, enough to move those longer rates out, but probably slow enough to keep the Fed at bay. Again, the yield curve steepened. That again was bad for the NASDAQ, good for financials, not necessarily good for the rest of the market. And then we still have the China fallout from the alleged insertion of spy chips by Chinese manufacturers into the hardware of companies like Apple, Amazon, et cetera. This is hurting tech and it's the reason that tech is leading this particular four day downdraft. It's interesting to note that September started off the month with a new high in the NASDAQ and then a four day sell off. October has done the exact same all new, time, new all time high, and then a four day sell off. This is Bob Icino talking NASDAQ futures from the CMA Group trading floor in Chicago.